Hi, welcome to the second part. My next medium, which I will be using for coloring angel, is acrylic paint. First, I noticed that the right hand of angel is somehow lost and I decided to show it like hidden behind the airs. I use flash color of acrylic paint. In order to make both hands in the same color, I put a very light layer of this paint also on the left hand, but I won't risk to put it also on her face. Her face I will be coloring with colored pencils. Next, I looked at the angel's wings and um, clothes, uh, dress or cloak. Anyway, I realized that I don't like that there are so many black lines which indicate faults on her clothes and I definitely want to mask them. Uh, I think that they are um, not very attractive here, so I will need to mask them using white paint and it's titanium white because it's opaque and also I don't want to spend a long time by coloring feathers on the wings and also I think that doing them with paint is the best way. First, um, when I color wings with paint it's quick and also I love that they are more opaque comparing to the semi-transparent watercolor background and in this way um, angel pop up on the background because of the opacity of the paint. First I covered wings with um, white paint. Again I wanted to mask black lines and I wanted to create this first white layer. Then I added a little bit of gray blue color. It's called porcelain porcelain blue, but it's something between gray and blue. And I added just a little bit to be able to create some shading on the wings. I liked the color which I got after I mixed those two paints and I decided that I can also use it for creating some shading on her clothes. I love that acrylic paint dries very quickly so I can color without any uh, stops. When I finish to work on the second wing, the first one is already dry and I can continue to work on it.
On the upper part of the wings I decided to add some texture like very tiny feathers and I want to make them with golden paint. I mixed a little bit of golden plus white, so gold is not very intense and I do very small brush strokes in order to imitate tiny feathers on the upper part of both wings. Next, I will be adding some colors to the clothes of the angel and I will be using various pastel colors from Prismacolor set. I selected lavender, deco peach, blue lake, but even these pastel colors looked a little bit bright for my taste, so over them I constantly worked with white, trying to make all those colors really very soft and very tender. I try to show some shape of the angel's body inside of the clothes, so I darkened area behind her uh, back uh, and where her arm is slightly pressed to the body. I think that it was possible to add the same pastel color accents using those pastel watercolors which I already used for the background. I, can, I could dilute them with water and I could use them on top of the acrylic underpaint, but with pencils it's quicker and easier and I really love this milky way which I get after I go with white over lavender or blue lake colors.
Next, I decided to add some gentle, some tender yellow glowing to the wings mostly, but also to the more highlighted parts of Angel's clothes. And I could use deco yellow pencil, but I decided to play a little bit with my neo color crayon Sahara yellow. It's one of my favorite colors, very helpful, and I added over acrylic background and I don't use any water, so I use it simply as a regular crayon. All remaining areas on the picture I will be coloring with regular color pencils. For the face I will be using Prisma colors. I started from shading with Beige Sienna. It's not very dark, so shading is quite delicate. And then for the main skin tone I will be using Light Peach mostly, but I also tried to add some uh, yellowish glows to the skin, so I added also eggshell to the skin tone. I wanted to color Angel's hair as the brightest part of the whole composition, as a focal point of it probably. I wanted them to look like liquid gold. So for the hair I will be using polychromoses with their beautiful green gold, Indian red, sanguine, walnut brown. I really love all those colors which we have in polychromos set, so that's why I decided to switch from Prisma colors to polychromoses.
My angel is finished. It wasn't the easiest coloring, but still I like the final look of this picture and probably I will risk and um, in the nearest future I will try to color something else in this book. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon.